Hi everybody, true to my word, I'm going to try talking about Etude House's Cherry Blossom palette. So typically when I use this palette, I use this for any idol -y kind of character or any young girl character. Mostly because I like using pinks and brighter colors in order to really highlight the eyes and youthfulness of a character. Um, I find that this palette in particular is pretty good because it does have a wide variety of different colored pinks and also includes some browns, so it is quite versatile if you decided to use this as a go-to palette. I prefer using the coffee palette mostly because it does contain more brown shades in it, but this one is pretty good if you want a little bit more variety in color and also have some brown shades, though not particularly the darkest. I'm going to quickly show you the swatches on my arm, and as you can see, they aren't necessarily that super pigmented. You definitely see all the different pinks in there. And you will also notice that the Cherry Blossom palette does include more shimmer as opposed to the Coffee palette. This one has seven compared to the Coffee palette's three. Again, this isn't something I would necessarily use every day because of that. Um, some girls really do like having shimmer in their eyeshadow. I do prefer going with a more matte shade. I'm not really going to go over what I used in terms of this makeup style because I don't particularly like how it came out. So I do recommend it in terms of its versatility for cosplay in regards to more younger girl costumes. Though you can use it for more mature characters if you choose to do so. In my opinion, you can probably also use this for sickly characters. I'm using the darker shades of pink or under the eyes. Though I would probably go for a red eyeshadow if you really want to make a more effective look. So with Etude's House, I think that their palette in terms of their pigment isn't necessarily the strongest. But again, I believe you go more for the aesthetic than you do go for the pigment of their eyeshadow collections. These palettes only cost you about 21,000 won. It's definitely something to pick up if you don't want to spend too much on an eyeshadow palette. That's pretty much all I can really say about the two that I have already used. So the next two, I haven't used them before. I'm kind of interested to see my initial reactions to them because I haven't used them quite yet. I do know for the beach themed one, it is a bit late to use it because I do believe it's a more summer theme. Whereas for the wine one, I can probably use that more often. I actually haven't really had a chance to really look through the color palette more thoroughly as I have the coffee and the cherry blossom when I initially picked those up. I will try my best to see if there's more pigment within the other two color palettes. But until then, thank you for watching my video and I'll see you next time. Bye.